this is Nikola Androkoski, um, and he's looking for some feedback and, and critique here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to tell you right off the bat is, and I'm just going to set up this here the way I like doing this. Okay, so the first thing I would say right off the bat is pay attention to your light source. Right now, you've got a brighter light source going on here, so like so. Actually, let me just do this on your layer. So that's going to change a lot of the way your, your thing is actually going. Um, first and foremost, uh, you've also got warm light coming from this direction. So, and a backlight. So you've got a very complex light source. So what you need is to kind of match the whole, um, kind of match the whole light source thing. All right. So on this aspect, um, if you're going to have this warm light from the front here, then what you want is also to have a matching warm light from this way here. Okay, now one of the things that I'm going to say is what you've, you've done it on the head, but you ha don't have it anywhere else. So like this lighting here will be muted. Um, this lighting here will, you know, start popping up. This should be functionally brighter um, up here, depending on actually depending on how your your brush is. So let me just kind of erase this. So it looks like if you have light source coming over here, you might want some of the that light, even even semi transparent. Um, on this this er, uh, section over here and possibly even grabbing in some of the form from the beard casting the shadow so those are things that you really want to pay attention to also remember light gives you form so what I mean by that is right now you've got you've got this light here but the face itself feels flat and if you take some of these shadows and I would even darken Darken the, some of these shadows here, and do you see how by darkening that that corner of that eye, it starts pushing the snout beak thing forward? Um, and so you want to do, maintain that that concept. and push that stuff forward. All right. The other thing is, you know, you can do it on the center of the eye, and you see how by darkening that, that's gonna that, that really pushes everything a little bit more, um, a little bit more towards you. Now, the other thing is, you've got the highlights here, but if you want the highlight on skin, what you want to do is you want to create create kind of that mass, you know, pulling the shapes forward. All right. Now, the next thing is, you know, the big thing is your eyes are kind of really dull. And honestly, eyes are what most everybody looks at right off the bat. So getting the, the true dark colors in there and, you know, kind of the dark colors and then popping in those highlights. will really draw the eyes now you know you don't need to go strictly straight black but by doing so you can see that the eyes pop out a little bit more and then the form in the mouth starts lo you start losing some of that form here so don't be afraid to get in there and really push out that form and you see how by just slightly darkening that you're now pushing out that form you're, you're getting much more definition in there um, and then you know so this is kind of you're doing kind of these gray eyes and so you just want to kind of match your grays like so and then what I would do is you know if you're doing this like normal get some of that pink from the ear 
and start pulling that into the bottom lid of the eye, like so, and then even grab a little bit of a highlight to kind of accent that a bit more. Um, so, you know, these are things that you kind of want to do to just push out the form of your face. Um, you know, get, get the darker colors in there. And then the same thing with the beard. What you've done with the beard is you you started with this rough pattern texture, but in all reality, the the form of the beard is really what you what you're looking for. See by just slightly shading this, you're getting I'm getting a lot better form um, than anything else. And that's really what what this is all about is getting that form in there, and that'll give you the dimension of your of your figure, of your character. Now, if you notice too, I'm using black, well, this kind of mid-tone dark blue, or really shadowy blue, and I'm using that for my shadows, and that's gonna keep everything very consistent back and forth. You don't wanna change your shadow color up too much because it will actually kinda of give you this, uh, kinda of give you a weird feeling about the whole thing. So then when you want, if you wanna draw hair, if you want to draw the the idea that hair is, you just need a, a simple brush. Um, and I'm just going to use a base old paintbrush here, but you can simply use a, a simple brush and let's get some of that in there. And you see how I'm building the form up here, and then. The idea of the hair is going to give you a lot uh, simpler. You know, it's just a just a, a basic, regular trans, uh, just regular basic paintbrush with light bristles. And then, if you want, what you want to do is you want to just take and draw some really small hairs to create your highlights. And that throws off the, the look that the beard is, you know, it's a little bit more scraggly type, type of thing. So, and then you can bring some of this, bring some of this up here into the hair, into the, uh, the face to, to give the simple strands like that. So, and then again, make sure you got your form in there because you know you you want to depict this old character but yet the the snout is really you know you could actually add in quite a bit you know of more detail in there and then get in with the highlights on the opposite side and that'll really Kind of push over and give you a lot more detail. Same thing with the forehead. You know, don't don't be afraid to use a hard hard edge for your creases. Um, and look at reference because you know that's that's what we base life off of. Um, so this is something basically just you know, and I'm just putzing right now. But if you get more of that form in there, you know, you, as you can see, I'm just going to merge these layers. So look at the difference between the two, where I've taken, um, you know, and smoothed out your beard a little bit, added in more form, more shadow, that type of thing. Um, you know, I, I would probably go in here and add in, you know, more definition to the wrinkles and things like that. Um, and I think that's going to really push your, your level of art to the next step. All right?